and we're here with John Milton on the Sacred Passage. And John, we've just had an incredible experience here. Would you like to share with the audience? Sure. Yeah, this is the Sacred Land Sanctuary, which is the main retreat center for the way of nature. And uh, <clears throat> when we arrived here, we wanted to uh, share a little time together today about this wonderful new book that you published, and uh, which is this one here, Inventing World 3.0. And uh, as we pulled in and stepped out to share a little bit together, uh, one of the things that has been happening here over the years is I've been coming here with my students and retreat groups and we do retreats we've been doing here for about 40 years and solely the because we focus on humans and nature being one mm -hmm. being completely one family yeah you, so you can see the deer herd came to welcome us and so we walked in and the deers literally welcomed us and even uh, I was able to reach out and touch one on the yes. nose yeah and uh that's because of the deep relationship of uh, trust between those of us humans here that live here and work here and the deer population and the other animals. I had a wolf come up to me just a few days ago huh. and sit down next to me and hang out. And we connected through the eyes and made a beautiful connection. And when we were completed, got up and walked off into the forest. That's beautiful. So things like that happen here all the time. And one of the great things is whilst technology can help us to solve problems, we mustn't forget our connection with the land, should we, John? No, that's essential. I mean, the uh, we humans came out of nature. We were born from nature. And look at our friend right behind us here. This is fantastic. Hello. See, this is how it works. Part of the family. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. And so, John, an, a, a, another question before we uh, we conclude our little conversation. How important is the relationship with the land for leadership in technology and business? I know you've worked with many, many people around the world on activating their leadership through relationship in the land. Some of the, some big Silicon Valley people as well. Would you like to share more about that? Why it's so sure, important? Sure, I, th I think uh, we're working with quite a few folks that are working in virtual reality mm. areas right now. And part of uh, the reason they're interested is on the one side, uh, we humans emerged out of nature and the field of nature over millions of years. Yes. Literally. So every cell in our bodies has, has co-evolved in the body of nature mm. and the system of nature. Yeah. So when we return to nature in a place like this, which is balanced and harmonious, what that does is bring up that inner experience of natural harmony, natural balance, natural inner uh, integration. Mm. So, uh, and as we take that platform and we go deep into the experience of what this is all arising from, pure source awareness, yeah. then what happens is a field of very pure creativity arises. And so we teach practices to tap into that pure creativity. And it's a kind of creativity that's naturally in harmony with all of life and nature. Mm. So it supports a new kind of emergence of uh, AI and technology and uh, uh, virtual reality that's in harmony with nature quite naturally because that's where it's coming from in that context that's beautiful yeah that's absolutely fantastic and so what i would recommend with people is to find out through the way of uh john milton who's mentioned in the book alongside sir david attenborough that's the kind of quality that john is and has offered to the world for us to understand how we can forge a great relationship with the land and our environment. And this is important for the next generation of leadership in technology to find a new creative space through the land. Would you agree absolutely, with that, John? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And actually, one of the beautiful things that we're discovering is that in a lot of my <clears throat> students who are working in the field of virtual reality and AI, uh, part of my job is to help them utilize technology to point directly back into pure, true nature. Wow. Source. Wow. So uh, that's part of what we're up to. That's incredible. That's incredible. So thewayofnature.com and AIethics.com.